Hello, good morning. My name is Miloš Ivanović. I come from BioIRC uh, Research Institute from Serbia. And here I'm going to present you uh, Silico FCM platform, which is de developed uh, uh, within the frame of uh, Silico FCM uh, Horizon 2020 project. Uh, and of course, the focus will be on uh, our experiences on using uh, and utilizing CWL workflows within this platform. First, I'm going to tell you something about Silico FCM uh, project itself. Uh, the main focus of Silico FCM is the problem of cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy is a st structural or, or end or functional abnormality that causes the malfunction of the human heart uh, to say so. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, categories of uh, cardiomyopathies but uh, we focus on familial cardiomyopathy. Uh, why? Because they are most commonly diagnosed, uh, the progress of disease is monitor monitored so we have a lot of data to deal with. The technical aim of the Silico FC, uh, FCM uh, project is to develop uh, in Silico computational platform that would deliver all the tools supplied by the partners. And also, uh, if we are talking about uh, the, the global scope, uh, the social scope, the aim is to reduce animal and clinical studies for a new drug development. The tools are numerous and they are, uh, th th we have tools for uh, statistical and machine learning treatment of uh, clinical data. We have imaging tools, we have uh, genetic tools, but also have uh, numerical modeling uh, in, in many uh, cases. So uh, the consortium is one of the strong parts of Silico FCM project. Here you can see the list of partners. We, uh, we have universities, but we also have clinical partners. We have uh, partners from US, etc. Uh, speaking technically and uh, going uh, to the interns of the platform, to the internals of the platform, we have uh, something like this. Uh, I would emphasize this part here, the central part of uh, Silico FCM platform is workflow manager module. We opted for CWL uh, and TOIL workflow manager and to build, it, to build the job manager uh, upon it uh, for two reasons. The first reason uh, in 2018 when we started was that uh, CWL was already pretty much uh, accepted and there was a large community around it. Uh, but the other reason is that we got uh, SBG Genomics as a partner. Uh, so they already supplied a number of workflows. So we, uh, uh, it was a natural choice to, to build the, the whole thing on CW. Uh, I will show you how the platform looks like now and then we will return to the story. So this is the platform dashboard just to get a sense. We have data management module here for uh, the clinical data but also geometries and genetic data. We have visual analytics module to uh, directly uh, visualize uh, the, the, the clinical data but also geometries and results for the finite element simulations. We have a uh, virtual population module capable of producing artificial uh, models and instances. Uh, and we have tools module uh, uh, which is a set of a nice tools. Some of them are used by uh, experimentators like Music OSL. Some of them utilize statistical and machine learning techniques in order to uh, predict risk 
and predict uh, the progression of disease. We have a very nice drug interactions tool for biochemistry uh, stuff, drug search tool for searching external databases, etc. But the central part is workflow management module. As, as you can see, all the workflows are implemented in CWL, uh, uh, including genetic tool, but also finite element uh, modeling tools and the other numerical modeling stuff, as you can see here. If I click on any workflow, I can see the previous runs. I can explore the results here uh, in the platform, uh, creating 2D graphs, uh, doing sanity check with uh, these automatically produced animations on the real data. Uh, and also we can utilize 3D visualization module which is integrated uh, Kitver uh, Paraview Glands etc. Uh, the, 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 the backend engine which is called functional engine server is uh, capable of running multiple workflows by multiple users at uh, the same time so uh, that means simultaneously so now you get the impression and I'll go back to the presentation the whole platform is uh, deployed on premise but first let's uh, have a look at the typical CWL workflow this one actually is capable of producing the complete finite element model from uh, the imaging data that means ultrasound data using deep learning techniques and then finite elements over here and then post-processing using Kitver Paraview I, I, I suppose it was slicing here so the, the uh, workflows are not very uh, uh, from, from the workflow point of view uh, not very complicated uh, the whole platform is from the day one deployed uh, on-premise you can see here hardware firewall uh, reverse proxy etc but the uh, the main uh, proof for us that the, the the platform is in a good shape is to test the scalability and portability uh, by porting uh, on AWS to Amazon Web Services uh, so we used uh, we utilized the already available um, toil uh, feature to to uh, work on AWS. Then we uh, ported uh, storage, backend file storage, temporary storage to S3, uh, and got something like this. The platform is working, so we uh, we had to uh, test how it behaves on scale. Uh, we took three typical workflows. Uh, they uh, they uh, differ uh, uh, from the point of view of uh, computational uh, resource requirements. So the Sohara is uh, really short and uh, requires uh, minimal resources and the other two are more resource demanding. Uh, as we can see here, the results are expected when we uh, automatically use spot uh, EC2 instances. Uh, if we look at Ohara, the relatively speaking, the overhead is high, but for, for if we look at the other two uh, workflows, the results uh, are much more much better. And relatively speaking, the they are uh, uh, the the overhead is actually negligible. Uh, what we uh, did then, we put the platform into stress testing. So uh, the stress testing is defined like launching five uh, distinct instances of each workflow at the same time. Uh, what we got here is that uh, using EC2 spot instances, the, uh, the slowdown was obvious, but not very, but not very, uh, not like a showstopper 
and the platform was uh, really stable and this asynchronous uh, functional engine server uh, backed by toil uh, works uh, really good as we can see here uh, and uh, to conclude uh, the platform behaves well on premise and also in the cloud I, I wish only in the end to thank, thank uh, the whole CWL community and especially Toil developers who also invited us to present this at the conference uh, and for really fast uh, bug tracking and uh, implementing feature uh, requests uh, thank you.